Howdy folks. Um, I know I told you all that there was going to be a survival video coming and all that, but uh, we got some more pressing issues on the docket right now. The Second Amendment is under fire, which means that every single one of you is under fire. And when you are under fire, it is your duty, your right, your responsibility to keep calm and fire back. So here we go. Now, I have a particular saying. And it holds very true here. Nox Tyrannis Pedici. It means no tyrant stands. Let's make it heard on every corner, every rooftop. Every city center, every county square. Because I'm motherfucking mad. And I know you are too. I'm so mad, I'm shaking. My second amendment does not end where a politician's feelings begin. No politician has represented this country in the last fucking 120 years. You and I have honored this country. We have shed blood. We have given our all. To those who think that we don't I'll say this, if you got in a good goddamn go guts and glory, I tell you what, you bring your shit, son. You don't scare me none. We're bulletproof until we bleed out, and in that time, I can be the world's most abhorrent warrior. I scare myself sometimes. And sometimes you need to be just as scary. This is one of those times. Sig sempre ternoi fel. Thus always do tyrants fall. You've started it. We are finishing it. Ere I stand is a line in the sand turned black by the blood of my brothers. Ere you will go, a tale you will sow of a man who stood to the end. It applies. You hunters, you might not think, oh well. You know, no big deal. Or you might not think, hmm, we need to get on this wagon here. We need to get on this train and stop this fucker. The reality is, whether you're for or against the Second Amendment, it is not your decision whether or not that Second Amendment should remain. Nor is it the decision of politicians whether that Second Amendment should remain. It is the decision of a man who died 200 years ago. Who are you to say that his decision does not apply? Did you die for this country? Hmm? Did you shed blood?
Boy, howdy, I tell you what. Mr. Politician, you can kiss my ass with no lipstick and no pantaloons. The Second Amendment is not negotiable. It is in the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. It is not up for debate. The contract has been written in blood. The price has been paid. And it continues to be paid. Now, it falls to you and I, patriots of the United States of America, patriots of the American way, patriots of the United States Constitution, as it was written in 1776, as it was ratified. In 1791. Definition of the militia. Circa 1777. Oxford Dictionary. The people of any given nation being so armed and willing. Do I look scared to you? Do I look like I am balking to you? I do not fear you. Because I do not fear death. Death fears me. Now I am tired. Now as I was saying before I was so damn rudely interrupted by my computer. I am tired and a sickened. Sick and tired. Because every effort that I have ever made, every effort of my grandparents, every effort of my father, every effort of my family going back 25 generations, Sorry, generations. You can kind of understand how pissed I am. Because this continues to keep sliding downhill as I am getting covered in a shit. For the past 25 generations of the Price, Smith, Cutler, and Caruso clans. We have been fighting for the right of freedom, for the liberty to be able to walk in peace. That does not mean that a politician has a right to tell you that you may not do something because it would disturb the peace. It means that you have the right to do what you wish so long as you do not harm another human being, lest they are trying to harm you. I find it abhorrent that any man 
regardless of station, should find it upon his own self to make an effort against an American citizen for any reason. If you agree with me, give me a like. If you approve of this message, share this with everybody you know. Because it's serious. It is war on our doorstep. And the people bringing that war to you, to all of you, are the very same people who would see you hanged and bound in chains. I ask you, nay, I demand of you, are you mice or are you men? Men do not fear death. They see it as another part of life. It is part of the journey. And when I go to my death, I will be a happy man. Because I will return. As will each of you. Because unlike what the Hindu text teaches as far as incarnation is concerned, and reincarnation, self-perpetuating self is a reality. Before you ask me for the proof of that, look to your mathematics. Fractals exist, even in you. So I'm wondering, was I born into a nation of cowards? Or do my fellow Americans have the salty sack to stand a fuck up and make a goddamn bit of noise? I was not born a slave. My father did not indenture me to any other man's service, nor servitude. My mother and father requested of me effort and aid, but never did they demand it. Any politician who demands of me, then motherfucker, you must try and take. I will do and destroy you, whether that be physically or in name, is by your decision. If you make an effort against me physical, you will be met with rebuttal far greater than you are prepared to receive. I am no charlatan. I am no slouch. Something you should know about me is I am well more than capable of making you cower by simply looking you in the eye. Bears fear me. Lesser men quail and tremble in my presence. I do not fear you. I do not fear death. I have never been afraid because I am intelligent. Smart enough to know how to deal with a situation so that I may not need of fear. 
if you do not believe me, then you are in for a fairly rude awakening. If you take my words as nothing more than the musings of a bitter, angry man, then you are a fool. Because my words are not just mine. They are the words of many. And I have spoken them. My anger has allowed me to put aside inhibition. But one thing that it has not allowed me to put aside is honor. I honor my promises. I will protect you if you stand to the honor of all. I have always stood on that level. And here I hold the line. Not one inch. And I mean it. I am the guardsman. I am the guardsman on. Death fears me. I do not fear death. Welcome to the pride. I've seen well more than my fair share of bloodshed. I've seen my own blood as it painted the walls, as it pooled around my body. Who are you to deny my sacrifice? Who are you to deny the sacrifices of those who are not living, but gave all? Who are you? Who are you? That you feel you have a right claimant over my property, person, papers, or effects. Over my pursuit of happiness. Over my life and liberty. Tis war! Hurrah!